Action. Just kidding. Cut, cut, cut. That was fucking terrible. That was fucking terrible. You guys, I don't know if that's going to work, but uh, we're going to make uh, it work. What's Let's what's the word you. other than action? Freeze. Reaction. <laughs> This should be 19.5. 19.5 should be fucking word games. <laughs> 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 Travis Williams. Is that, is, that, is that antonyms? No, synonyms. I didn't. No, I didn't. No, synonyms I failed geography. I failed geography <laughs> every freaking class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think that is geography. Yeah. Definitely. And, definitely uh, correct subject. I think what you're looking for is onomatopoeias. Uh-huh. Actually, those, it's neither synonyms or, or antonyms. On onomatopoeias. <laughs> I'll take vernacular for 200, please, I'm Alex. <laughs> Uh, so we are we are deliriously recording this episode of this podcast uh, because how long have how long have we been awake? Um, probably two hours. Uh, Forty eight going. <laughs> Forty six. <laughs> He's hours. got an yeah, algorithm. Yeah, yeah. He's just got his cool. algorithm. That's how that's how long we've been awake. Forty six. Of the last 48 hours. I know. I got sure. up to coach the the 5 a.m. class. Well, in packs, I was slacking at 3.30 on Tuesday morning in the great old United States of America. And now it is, what, two days? Is it two days later? Yeah, a day yeah. and a half later. Yeah. In, in Ireland. Yeah, we're in Dublin. Yeah, we're in Dublin, Ireland. fucking Ireland. What are we right doing now? in Dublin, Ireland, Travis? Well, we were. Um, well, you go ahead, Travis. Well, it looks like. We're going to work out tomorrow. We're going to do a live open announcement. You know, probably some thrusters and some ring dips. Sean's favorite two things ever. Ring dips. Thrusters. Yeah, you know. Bring it on. Bring it on. Um, Sean, you've never done a live open announcement. I've never. No. And Travis has. I'm 1-0, and baby. <laughs> So the undefeated champ, the undefeated. undefeated champ, and this was back when it was like the official live yeah. open announcement. So that's a real thing. These uh, these like rinky dink live open announcements. It's not rinky dink. Look at your Amen. production, dude. You got <laughs> microphones. This Wait. isn't rinky dink, hey, dude. I think we got everything. The for real though, uh, the production that is going to be happening tomorrow night is uh, it's kind of crazy. Justin, Justin, yeah. how crazy is the production tomorrow night? He's saying it's way, way more intense than he expected. Is it? I 100% agree. It's like super TV. Like, so we're putting on a show. We're putting on a real show. Like, Be- Better than the rest of the open announcement so far. Dude, for real. Like, will will Justin, it beat the Wadapalooza announcement oh, yeah, that is dude, also Miami, going on? Like, there is not enough cocaine trash, right? to that, make that internet work. Cell phone video? Yeah. 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 Okay. Who are the, who's that guy that's doing uh, who did they call? Is it the, I don't even know. Some guy like Paige. Oh, I, I don't know. I saw, I saw a picture of him. Whatever. <laughs> Some guy named... Luke Page. I don't. I don't know what his name is. What? So like, didn't he have a TV show he in the nineties? <laughs> Niles. His name was Niles. <laughs> it was Ross from Friends versus. <laughs> he looked pretty zippy though. <laughs> it's like it's like a shorter Joey from Friends versus Tia Claire Toomey. I think is actually who it is. Wait, it's what's Friends? Crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty lost here. Come on. <laughs> don't no, even. I know friends. Don't I know even. Friends. Uh, <laughs> no, like Justin and I have um, have like six or seven hours of rehearsals tomorrow. Rehearsals. Really? Before the live show. So for, for all the people at home that are watching, we can tell them with confidence that you need to tune in to Dublin and not to Miami for the significant part, especially our pre-show. Oh, Your pre-show is going to be Yeah, the pre-show is going to be awesome. And then, be much like, better. and then me and Travis can go like – Really fast in relative terms. Pretty much, of, yeah, yeah. I mean, like we're definitely more relatable to you guys than Tia Toomey and Matt Fraser. Um, we're humans. Yeah, yeah, they're, I, they're freaks. I rehearse nothing. We rehearsed nothing. When we when? just tr- literally set the camera up and turned the recorder on, and we just started talking. Yeah. Oh we, yeah. We rehearse nothing, and yet there's right. going to be. Rehe- are you guys going to rehearse working out? You know, show up and do some fake thrusters and <laughs> like just like faux maybe we should just maybe I'll just like yeah, I'll just get I'll just get a, I'll just get a garbage can and uh, some castor oil and just practice puking in a corner. <laughs> 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 you know that that's probably how that's it probably out. the you do need to practice for that for sure. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I I don't know we we haven't talked about um, like I haven't talked about how you guys ended up coming to Ireland. How did you guys end up coming to Ireland for this? Well, I, I'll let me go ahead and lead this one off. So, Let's how I ended up going to Ireland is 
so we just did the open at, at Power Stroke. So at my gym back home, um, I did the open 19-4 on Friday to get out of the way. And then so I'm running all our members through it on uh, Saturday. It was awesome. Everyone's stoked. Like We were hanging around for quite a while. Everyone's all pumped up, getting their first muscle-ups and stuff. It was a really cool time. It was awesome. And then I checked my phone to call, uh, call my coach, Jacob, see what I'm going to do for training that day. We're kind of on a day-to-day basis right now. And I have a text on my phone from Armin. And I was like, okay, I open it up and it says, hey, could you take an all expenses paid trip to Ireland to do 19.5? And I was just like, <laughs> Ashton Kutcher, where's, where's Ashton Kutcher? What's happening right now? <laughs> and uh, of course I said yes immediately. So I text him back. I'm like, I, t- I did like one of the ones where you go through like a, uh, a conversation with yourself. I like text back. Okay. When is it? How long is it going to be? What's the l- lodging situations? What, when do I need to leave? What time? Yes, I'll go. <laughs> so then all of a sudden I was like, holy crap, like, I'm going to Ireland. So that's, that's how it ended up And the filthy 50 put us up for all this stuff. And it's, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So we're here. And now then I get a text from Travis and Travis says, Ireland question mark and I'm like how does this guy know like what the hell and I was like yeah how'd you know like I thought he was calling to congratulate me or something and he's like yeah I'm going too I'm like no shit and it just ended up being perfect hell yeah how, how did you hear about it so my situation is similar except I was way cooler I was at Yu-Gi-Oh tournament we just uh <laughs> we had just lost round five and we were done for the day and then my phone, I see a message from Justin, Morning Chalk Up. And it's like, do you want to go to Ireland? You won't have to pay for anything. And I was like, um, let's, let's, de- let, let me get some details here. Like, what's, what's happening? I asked a bunch of people, hey, should I go? You know, I got competitions coming up. Open doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm being on a team. Everyone says, yes, you need to go. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, I'll go. Of course, like, and then I'm like, wait, 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 wait a second, wait. Who, who, who's going with me? Am I just going by myself? Like, what, what's the deal here? And then they're like, Sean Sweeney, go, oh, 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 I'm definitely gonna go whoop his ass and open workout. So, <laughs> and this, <laughs> this is exactly why Damn. this is a great, this is a great matchup because you guys both have no stake in the open. Like That's Sean, true. you qualified by. By winning uh, Fittis and Cape Town, the open for you is like one and done. Lock your score in so you don't get seated last at the games. Travis yep. is going team, so the open doesn't even matter. You don't even have to do it. You're just doing it so that you can do open humiliation. Yeah, basically drawing pig tattoos on my chest, you know. No big deal. Which I seriously I believe think that you was should, your uh, belly button. You should have gotten yeah, that perm. Yeah, it was belly. Just yeah. get that really done in. Dude. A lot of people think so, man. I might, I might have to follow through. Just end we'll it. You have a great... You have a great belly button that turns into a butthole. It really does. It, it just needs any swirl. butthole b- on, tattoo on your belly button is what's going to what's gonna really take it to the next level. You should do uh, blue like eyes, white designs, dragon butthole. Oh, God. Dude, your, wait, hey, what, what, I want to know, where was your uh, facial hair inspired from? Oh, that was oh, great. That was a pretty stellar. It was a pretty stellar I I just kind of grew out too much facial hair one day, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to kind of... Dude. We're going to shave this. We're going to play with it for a couple of days, see what happens. And everybody made fun of me, so I kind of... You should have kept it. Dude, Fuck I, everybody. I I'll rock it for real one of these hair. days. That's my screensaver is when oh, me and I love him dressed that. up as Joe Dirt, and I kept that for a little bit. That's and awesome. I tell you what, man. You, you don't feel any more American than when you've got the most ridiculous beard shaved on. Yep. Right? Yeah. You just scream it's, America. It's beautiful. Rip the sleeves off your shirt and a button-up <laughs> button shirt with no sleeves. Yes. Yep, you're ready to rock. I mean, what's more American than like you know cruising down Route 66 on like a big handlebar, you know, like bomber motorcycle, right? And then you put a handlebar on your face, and then your face is just a representation of like one of the most American representations of freedom ever. Man, I how's tell that? You what, I just hear like a, a whole a whole symphony of like empty Budweiser cans banging together right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I would say it's like the Warriors come out to play, but just, <laughs> just with aluminum cans. <laughs> hey, Warriors, you gonna come out to play? Uh, so, so it, it's cousin time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these cousin cans kissing. Uh, so uh, we're here uh, deep in Dublin, Ireland. 
and uh, we've had we've had a pretty legit day. You guys worked out a lot, like a lot more than I I probably I just like worked out for eleven minutes. Yeah. Probably. Well, I got I just got lucky because I had a eight hour layover in Seattle, which is where my coach Jacob with the Anarchos Training Method, previous TZ Strength. But anyway, what so up, plugs plug. <laughs> so he uh, so he's up there, and so I called him. I was like, dude, that worked out perfectly. So he picked me up, went to the gym. Got a little sweaty, uh, washed my underwear and my pants in his sink with some hand soap. <laughs> oh <Atta> boy. <laughs> threw them in the dryer. You know, I'm a little bit proper, country. Pro- proper like. And then. Uh, I like how you got wash on, it with hand soap, but you put it in the dryer. Yeah, well, yeah, I was going to wear it wet, smell it <laughs> like vanilla cream or something. You're better than me. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have washed anything. I'd have gone stinky. Oh, man. So what I had to. And then got on the plane. And then when I landed here, uh, then went straight to the gym cause you guys were at the gym and then loosened up, did a little bit of, did a little, little tiny bit of working out. And then we hung around for a, what, an hour and a half or so. And then me and you did that Metcon yep. and that was fun. So yeah, we, and then we did a bunch of, I guess that was a bunch of fitness for travel day. Then we walked around Dublin a bunch. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Dublin is smelling cool, some whiskey. The they, they drank some. I smelled it. I, I kind of Couldn't like handle it. I gave it. I just slipped a little tongue in. That's all. Just on the on the little just whiskey a tip. glass. It's not very much. <laughs> I would generally say that you guys definitely missed out, but you have you have you know tens of thousands of people who are going to watch you exercise yeah, so. very quickly tomorrow. You need to be tip top, prime shape. Yeah, as we best, as best as possible. I kind and of nothing's like, going to tank that more yeah. than a whiskey For, tasting. No, I, I definitely like, taste it. Like I just like let it literally. I just let it like drop on my tongue, just like a tiny bit, just to taste it and smell it. And, like did the experience, so I could still like tell the difference of what she was talking about. Cause we learned a lot about this whiskey. There's a lot that goes into whiskey. And so they were telling us all about Irish whiskey and the, the history of it all. And it was, it was actually, it was really interesting, but I was definitely not about to start shooting that before, uh, and have that tomorrow. Oh, no way. Horrible no idea. Way. If I, if I would have done two shots, I would have felt oh. like total hangover tomorrow. Everything would have been ruined. Like, I don't even know when the last time, when's the last time I took a shot of whiskey? I don't know. I don't know. It's been, a, it's been a while. Long time <laughs> <laughs> it's been a hot minute. Yeah. Um, so 19.5 is uh, it's about 24 hours from now. Because we, you know, we are, it's actually more than 24 hours from now. Because it would be you know, midnight okay. yeah. it's uh, now. tomorrow. What, oh my gosh. What do you guys, uh, what do you guys want to see show up here? Because, you know, I mean, other than like, if it was just like a pile of cash and they're like, play in the pile of cash. <laughs> and we got to keep it at the end of the day. Absolutely. Like, Man. you're going to get better than that. But. <laughs> Thrusters and just a bar pull ups, and it looks like is that's there, what it's going to be. Is there any chance? Is there any chance that the thruster makes zero appearances in the 2019 Open? That's zero, my that's zero chance. that's like my big curveball call, dude. You shut your mouth. There's be, no chance. It's, I it's hope coming. I I'm gonna I'm gonna really hope so because home cheese over here is zippy at thrusters, and I'm like slow and steady. I'm like a little train they could on thrusters, but uh, I don't. I don't see them not putting in thrusters. I don't. I don't see it happening. When's the last open that has not had thrusters? Has all there of, ever every been? single one of them has ended with thrusters. They all have. every point five. Every They've every point to. five or in two thousand eleven point six. I I the only thing is I'm I'm. There hasn't know. been any overhead mobility at all. No. Yet. So, so that's the other thing. I like like. Do you, are they going to let people go hinging. to the CrossFit Games without being able to do an overhead squat? I mean, if the first workout's Nancy, what? and then they just cut the bottom half of the field because they can't overhead squat ninety five I mean, pounds. Yeah, then, yeah, that's then, true. Yeah, I guess that's exactly how you run that. I, I'm, I, I'm, I would honestly be really happy if I, I saw some uh, dumbbell overhead squats. So here's the damn. thing: is we're not going to do. We were talking about that. Is we're not going to do. Um, I w- I don't think we can do. I don't think we can do anything with burpees. Just because, or any like devil's press, because that's what was a big thing. Is everyone's talking about devil's press? I don't think I don't think we're gonna do it. Granted, they did have a year where there was two two burpees in the same yeah, year. The first workout and the last workout. Yeah, burpees. so I mean, yeah, it's first definitely and last, possible. Not, like, not back to back. I wouldn't. I, I I'm expecting to see a hinging movement for sure. Whether that's, I don't see devil's press. Maybe double dumbbell snatch. Kettlebell swing. Maybe kettlebell. Am I, crazy? Swing. I think I think kettlebell, kettlebell swing would be pretty hard to judge overhead, but like a double dumbbell snatch would be incredibly straightforward yeah, to judge. It's pretty so easy. maybe a double dumbbell snatch or a deadlift. But I, I somehow I think there's going to be a hinging hinging move because we already had our repeat. We had nineteen two, right? So we already had the repeat. Or else I would totally say that we'd be in for that seven minute of thruster chest to bar or that four minute rounds. But we already had our repeat. There was a twenty one fifteen nine. 
chest to bar deadlift in the team series. I wonder if we could see something yeah, some sort of version of that. And that was two twenty five deadlift. It was pretty disgusting. I bet you that'd be horrible. You I bet you you do that and you couple it with thrusters. I just can't even imagine what if he thrusters. what if he combines two of the hardest open workouts, three of the hardest open finale workouts as long as it there. opens up with a pretty massive set not the double and then under like one, so it's cool i know travis's game plan is gonna period be unbroken so if like it's if it comes out with like 30 30 30 of like chest to bar snatch it or double dumbbell snatch and uh, he's, he's drunk if he thinks I'm thrusters, doing. he's going unbroken <laughs> he's drunk Guaranteed. if he thinks i'm doing 30 chest to bars unbroken oh. at any point in any what workout. if what if it was yeah, like right. what if it was like 20 the 27 21 59 that rowing and thrusters workout <sighs> Oh with chest bar pull ups, too. Oh. That'd make it easier. It would make it easier because you'd have you to get a chest bar pull up break. Yeah, you, you, break. you get a break. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> you have to let off the gas. And there. that's why I don't write open workouts, guys. Yeah. That right there. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people know. don't know. You add things into a workout, it makes them easier if you get breaks. For sure. You take things away from workouts, the simpler you make them, the worse they are because then the less you get to rest, yeah. the faster you have to go. Just like this last burpee workout. Like I the think guys that you, you had to send the burpees the entire workout. Guys that could do that put up great scores. And hurt. And hurt. And hurt. I think, I don't know, I'm personally looking for uh, a little bit more complex, longer workout. And I know Trav's looking for a little bit shorter, faster thruster. Workout. I want to see, it doesn't have to be short, but I want to see thrusters be the mo- the main part of the workout. I want to see 13.5. Mm. Let's go. All day. <laughs> Mm. that's hurt yeah that 13.5 workout is uh it, it does fit in a really gross way here right yeah. it has a, like that four minute time trial thing in it it has the chest of our friend in been it long. What's and, and again been long yeah so i mean but but we've already had a workout with that ascending time trial or right. time domains too so and I, and be, repeat yeah and it was also a repeat so 13.5 is probably out um Thank any new you. version Thank of you. chest of bar and thrusters i will gladly take part in we'll see i'm sure it'll be something great yeah it'll probably be all right it'll be fun <laughs> yeah totally it'll definitely be fun but i think that's either more way, yeah i mean either way it's like we're gonna have a really good race we've been, we've been talking about this today too is it uh one way or another travis and i are pretty similar um in our, our you know fitness levels are right on right Super on close. par we're really oh, yeah. really Absolutely. close so you know there's definitely movements that uh he'll excel in and movements that i excel in but it just really d- comes down to it's going to be a dog fight which is going to be an interesting thing for you guys to watch rather Absolutely. than watch some superhuman people do the workout in four seconds you guys could watch us do real person stuff yeah i mean yep. if you want to see the Actually 19.5 announcement, strategize and uh, do things correctly yeah if you yeah. want to see the preview for the 19.5 uh, live announcement with Matt and Tia. Just go watch Matt and Tia's 19.4 <laughs> workout and watch two God. people who are redonkulously fit uh, perfectly Dude. execute a workout as fast as humanly possible. Yep. Yeah. And uh, and if you want to watch two people who are also redonkulously fit but can probably throw a couple fuck words at each other and crush a Guinness afterwards, <laughs> then we're probably we're like the ones we're like uh, it's like my little brother. So he played uh, he played college football, right? And so I don't know anything about sports. If you guys didn't know that, like I legitimately don't know all the rules of football. Like if I watch a football game, I'd be like, damn, that dude in a striped shirt likes those yellow things. You know, I don't <laughs> know. And uh, so he he told me he's like, well, Sean, you got three divisions of football. You know, he's a division one, like really serious. You got a pretty good shot of making the pros. Um, this is your top tier of of sport of football and. Division two, like these guys, they're still real good. And uh, you got a decent shot of going to the pros. Not quite as good, but this is a serious group of people. And, and D3, like we play football too. <laughs> 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 so I feel like, I feel like we're, we're kind of on that D3 kind of football style of, uh, of that echelon of this these announcements. But I guarantee you it's more fun to watch. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're way more into it, for sure. For sure. We're definitely having more fun than anyone is with it, too. Because oh, yeah. everyone else... there's uh, I know a couple guys that are uh, sweating pretty hard this week on what the last workout's going to be. Yeah. Are you, boys. you sweating about the Open? What? No. I am. No, I, I, I can't kid myself. <laughs> I get so nervous before every you really? workout. Oh, my God. So everyone keeps asking me that. They say, oh, Sean, you know, you qualified for the games already. You already got your ticket. Like, the Open doesn't mean anything to you. I'm like, 
Bah. It does to me. You're like, like you should tell so, me. That, yeah, yeah. Somebody I, I needs don't... to tell me that because like it doesn't <laughs> feel. Real. It feels like it feels like. Uh, uh, someone from the games department is just going to send me an email saying like, hey, just kidding. Like South Africa wasn't one of the sanctioned events. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh, try, no. try, try again next time. Or it's just, it doesn't feel real yet just because it's so different from the other formats, you know? Like this will be every, the two other years I've qualified has been an entirely different process just like everybody else. But it just doesn't feel real yet because I'll, I'll never forget like, you know, once they, you're out in the regional floor and they announce the whole, uh, you've made it to the games and then, then you have a pretty short turnaround. Like you get your stuff booked and now you've got a set, you know, eight week training block or whatever before the games. And right now it's like, I secured my ticket in February, which is weird. <laughs> it doesn't feel real. It feels like, it feels like too good to be true. And so before the open workouts, it's getting a little bit better now. Like before this one, I'm going to be like puppy shit in a peach pit type of nervous, you know, before this workout. But on every other one, uh, I've been crazy nervous. Just, at my house, puppy alone, shit in peach tired, or nervous. really nervous. <laughs> puppy shit in a peach. Have you never heard that? No, no me either. No, I haven't. <laughs> this guy, I haven't. This guy. Travis didn't I even react. Even, no, no clue. He did not I react. Was like, I was uh, like, what? You know, like hunched over, it's shaking. Just... Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I can picture it. Yeah, 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 so I can picture it. it. Yeah, so no, I get still crazy nervous because I want to... Uh, I don't know. I just it doesn't feel like I've actually like qualified yet, but I have to tell myself. But I get crazy nervous for every single one, and clearly we're gonna be in a competition like nervy setting with doing the open announcement in front of everyone. Like, that's me. That's me. Fun, but I would so much rather do this like head to head in front of a crowd like that. This is gonna be the coolest experience. It makes ever. it so much better. Oh, it's gonna be oh, so man. cool. You'll, the, you'll get the good kind of nerves where you're like, all right, we're yeah, about to go. Yeah, like, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, what type of self-discipline does it take to not become a fat hunk of crap after having seven months between your qualification and the actual CrossFit Games? Dude, like, I, I, I feel like if if you, I don't know, I feel like if I hit that, that by the time April rolled by, I would have gained like twenty five pounds because I'd just be eating cheesecake all day. Um, I think that I think so. I haven't. I've actually been doing pretty good. Like, I'm. I'd say. I'm probably 85, 80 to 85% on my nutrition. I'm not sure how true those numbers are, but it sounds pretty good. And so I'm relatively. Young. I've eaten three sandwiches in the past. <laughs> yeah, there's like, days. there's definitely Ain't some nothing on wrong with period, sandwiches, fellas. But <laughs> nothing wrong with sandwiches. But I think that I'm, I feel like I don't, I'm so busy with, so I have, uh, <laughs> I have two, two gyms. I own two gyms and, uh, kind of do a, a pr pretty significant amount of work there. I do a lot of, the, I do all the programming, uh, a lot of coaching, uh, doing anything business related. Like I do all that. We're putting on a competition. I have a, a lot of help from, uh, you know, Emily and my power stroke team, all the coaches and stuff, but I'm really busy. So there's plenty of times where I don't, I, I just don't get that insane amount of training volume. So I feel we were talking about this earlier today too, is that I think a lot of more games level people will have like a big peak and big Valley. And I think my year since I've, especially since opening the second gym is that my year has been considerably more consistent throughout the year of training to where, you know, I, this is like, I've kind of got a between two and three and a half hour period to get what I need to get done, done. And there's not a whole lot of more or less. It's kind of like that. It's an, it's enough volume to maintain and continue to, well, not even maintain to get more fit. I feel like I'm getting in the, I'm in the best shape I've ever been in right now, but, um, it's not where I've, I'm falling off. So I don't think that I, I didn't finish South Africa thinking I need a break now. Like I finished South Africa saying like, now it's time. Like this could be my shot to, have more prepared time and show up to the games ready to ready to rip you know so then and i think it is also to have some to prove because i think that during uh, uh last year having everyone with it was uh chatting it up about the south regional and like hey you know we didn't win but the south regional performed just as good as every other region for the most part uh at the games like we didn't sound like the south shit the bed there so i feel like I also still want like have something to prove to hold it up for us guys in the South, you know, a little bit. So I think that it's more pressure almost than less pressure having qualified. Yeah, that makes sense. As long as you can figure out how to not burn yourself out by end of June, like it's great. Yeah. And that's the only reason I'd say take a break at all is just so you can mentally stay strong all the way yeah. through that to the end. Cause for, for me, every year I've gone to the games, it's been really hard, like getting mid July. It's like fuck it's here i'm beat up 
like this and that Dude. like do i want to do this like and it, it, that the end of the road's really really tough really really tough yeah i know after the games this last year i took uh one all i took off was my travel day as soon as i came back in the gym i was right right back at it that's but, fucked yeah i don't know i just not like, not not like full bore a three hour yeah, like, yeah, miserable oh, for session. Sure. but yeah i'm back at it like i have i don't know the last time i took a a real break. But then again, I think it's because I don't have such massive training volume right. peaks throughout the year as well. It's just more of a consistent yearly volume, you know? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Cause you train like coming up once, once you're in June, you're going to be training like, right. Insane. Yeah, yeah, It's going to get nuts. June, June, July will be two, three times a day at the gym doing shit, trying to have as much yeah. fun as we can, as, as we can. I mean, we take two days a week off for sure. But that's like your full-time job. Yeah. Though. yeah. Basically Just that's all I'll be job. doing June, yeah. July. Yeah. It's like I, even in June, July, I was like, I'll, I'll only have that three hour window of training, maybe four hours or so to get training done. So like for me, two sessions is practically unfeasible for the, and I could make it work, but I just feel like it would, uh, impact the rest of my schedule enough to where it would be le- more stress than less. You know what I mean? Because every time it's just like, just if you know everybody wants a gym, like you show up to the gym and you want to start training right now, there's always something that comes in. So if I can just get the ball rolling and just kind of start knocking stuff out across the board, that's way better than me having to like come in. And I am so slow. Like warming up with me <laughs> is the worst. You remember warming up oh, with I me? Oh, I remember. God, I am slow, man. Getting me ready to go is so absurdly slow. So if I had to have two sessions of getting warmed up to train every day i'd spend nine hours a day warming up oh, man. <laughs> too much no, <laughs> that's generation but yeah i take forever that, forever that that's how long lucas parker takes have you ever warmed oh up yes with him? every it's competition the thing. i see him oh, he's, my got God. His, he's got his he's got all the tricks in the book too it's incredible he's, he's got and then he's got his cool down stuff he's got his like uh when we were in africa it was genius like uh, not knocking the guy like it's genius. I wanted his vest so bad. So I look and he's running around in this weight vest, right? I'm like, this dude is nuts. He's running around in a weight vest to warm up right before this, but it's it it's hot in Africa clearly. And, uh, no, it was an ice vest. The dude had on like a vest. It looks like a weight vest, but instead of being filled with weights, it's filled with ice. He's got his ice vest on. Cool, cooling down his body temperature That's right like before he goes out. I'm something like, out of Legend Damn. of Zelda or some shit. Yeah, like, he's shit. oh yeah, like, oh yeah. You look and he's got he's got his he's got his ducks in a row every single time. He's ready. That's pretty metal. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna get walkout songs, but before we wrap this up, what would your walkout songs be? Ooh. Damn, on the spot. On the spot. I just had like yeah. I think some from Foreigner. It's gotta be something from Foreigner. Hot blooded. That's hot good, blooded, that's hot good. blooded from Foreigner. Yeah, another American classic. Yeah. Hot blooded. That's good. Check in to see. <laughs> uh, it's not even close. As above, so below. Behemoth. Behemoth is pretty fucking metal. Wait, yeah. Wait, that's what, what, what's Behemoth? We're worshiping Satan. Right on. Pretty much. That's right it's before the, we work it's out. The, yep. It's the. Oh, yeah. Is that the oinkers? Is that no, the oinkers? No, no, I don't do oinkers. No, it's not the oinkers. Okay, they're the. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Pig squeals. Yeah. 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 Whoa! I don't know what that is. You don't know what pig squeal is? No. Bree, 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 bree. It actually That's originated from like. a farm. You know? Okay. Yeah. No, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know where it came from. I never got into it. Yeah. I don't not know. my thing. Um, but I'd come out. I'd come out with some 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 old classic like that. Some foreigner, I think. Either that or I'd come out to some just like nice, chill country song. I'm not sure which one I'd pick right now. But a nice, chill country song. I'd probably do some with, a, I'd do an Alan Jackson. You know, we're, we've been singing some of that today. I'd come out to some Alan, Alan Jackson. Maybe just some like, way down yonder on a Chattahoochee. There you go. Chattahoochee <laughs> is what's on my mind, actually. Yeah, there we go. I figured you'd go with that. Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, how how can people how can people find you guys? What are what's your like social social media tags, real quick? At Travis M F Williams. Does it Instagram. stand for motherfucking? Motherfucking misfit, whatever you want it to stand for. Hell yeah, you know. Sean, I'm CrossFit Cowboy, forty five. Could also stand for Matt Fraser, I guess. <laughs> Travis <laughs> Matt Fraser Williams, that's metal. <laughs> oh man, thanks guys. You guys need some sleep. Yeah, let's do it. All right, thank you. Thanks, yep, everyone. Night.